You may not believe it, but this is a geologist's office. I work here all the time. We even get to see wild animals, like this parrot snake. Or events like this boiling hot jet of water erupting beneath Yellowstone. Now getting around in these wild places is not easy. Sometimes we get around by boat, and sometimes by a car on a boat. And depending on where we are going, we might take a small plane. Now you may be wondering, what's the point of all this travel? And the point, of course, is to collect rocks. Many, many rocks of various shapes, various colors, of various sizes, rocks and rocks and... Hey, that's not a rock. That's a cactus. Uh, how did that get there? Anyway, moving on. Yeah, rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. And what we want from these rocks in my line of research in particular are diamonds. At Baylor University, we use a binocular microscope to go through these diamonds and pick the very best for study. Then we use a metal scythe, which is used to grind and polish diamond, which is the hardest mineral on Earth. We do this so that we can find minerals inside the diamonds, like these colorless forsterites and these reddish-brown chromites. These minerals can tell us a lot about how the Earth works. We also try to extract different minerals using a tool called a shaker table. And the shaker table separates minerals based on their density. The heaviest minerals there appearing black. Geologists also work with liquid nitrogen. See the liquid nitrogen vapor pouring over there? At Baylor University, we also run experiments to understand what goes on inside a volcano. We heat volcanic material inside a high temperature vessel to high temperatures, like 900 degrees Celsius. So hot that it makes the metal glow red. So now we take it out very carefully and we cool it down with blasts of air very, very carefully. And then we cool it down even faster in cold water in a technique called quenching. And you can see here, it's, the metal is so hot that it's bubbling over and generating steam. Well, there you have it, a day in the life of a geologist. I hope I've convinced some of you, in the least, to become geologists one day.